Integrating Your Sources, Part 2, Finding Your Process. I found some sources, but how do I know which to integrate and the best way to do so? Integrating unfamiliar sources can be hard. First, you need to get to know your source. Taking notes and annotating the sources that you plan to use can help you determine how to use your sources in your project. What you annotate depends on your purpose. Think of note-taking and annotations as getting to know your topic better so that you can write your paper as someone taking part in the conversation on the topic. Note-taking is a process that varies by person. You will need to find the process that works best for you. Mandy takes note of whether the resource supports her claim, refutes her claim, or provides an alternative hypothesis to her claim. Heather likes to write ideas or questions in the margins and highlights important things that she wants to return to or sparks an idea. And Brian uses a highlighter color for each topic and uses sticky notes for ideas. Kate likes to color code her highlighting so she knows which parts she needs to look back on when flipping through what she's read. Every person uses a different method of note taking when interacting with what they read. Once you find what works best for you, you can integrate sources into your papers and other projects much easier. Though note taking does take time, it's a process that will lessen stress and improve your confidence when writing because you'll be prepared. What if I don't know where to start with note taking? Or what if I don't know how to find my process because I don't know which parts of a source to pay attention to or take note of? If you are trying to develop your method of note taking, try paying attention to the section headings and subheadings. They will let you know what information is included beneath them. Take note of things in the text that surprise you or that make a conflicting claim. Pay attention to things that you didn't think about previously and things that you need to investigate or that spark new ideas. Are there things mentioned that you have questions about or are confusing? Again. How you take note of these things is up to you, but staying aware of them can help you when you need to create your project or write your paper. Some people find that creating an annotated bibliography helps them to incorporate their sources. One way to create an annotated bibliography is to use organized notes to ensure that you understand them well. An annotated bibliography is a summary of the entire source in a couple of sentences and includes how you intend to use that information in your paper. If you write annotated bibliographies as a part of your writing process, they can be a nice tool to have when you include many sources and need to remember what each source is about and which ideas from that source would work best for your paper. For more information on how to summarize, ask your professor or make an appointment with a writing coach. If you get stuck during your search, don't hesitate to reach out. Visit us at libraries.write.edu slash ask. This video is licensed under an attribution, non-commercial, share-like, Creative Commons license.